In one single computer system, you'll find many different types of memory, which can be a little bit confusing sometimes. Well, that confusion will hopefully be gone after watching this video about types of computer memory. The first type of memory that we're going to talk about in this video is the cache memory, which is located inside the CPU of the computer. In case you don't know what a CPU is, it's the central processing unit, also referred to as the processor or the chip of the computer. It's the brain of your computer and it processes all the data. Now the cache memory is inside that CPU. Now this cache memory is like your pocket. When you're working on something, you can very quickly put something in your pocket and then you can grab it again two seconds later. It's very, very accessible, just like cache memory. Cache memory is very close to the CPU, actually it's inside the CPU, so it's very fast. It has an insane speed, just like your pocket is really close to you. But also, it's a really tiny amount of memory, so just like your pocket, you can't put a lot of stuff in there. So CPU cache is also a very low amount of memory, it doesn't have a high capacity. Level 1 CPU cache is the fastest CPU cache, but it's only, like, nothing. It's 64 kilobytes on the CPU that I'm using to record this voiceover. Then level 2 cache and level 3 cache is slightly slower and is usually expressed in megabytes, which is still quite a low amount of memory. Also, CPU cache is volatile, which means that when you turn off the power, everything that is inside this memory gets erased. Now the next type of memory that we're going to talk about is the RAM, or the random access memory of the computer. RAM is still directly connected to the CPU, but it's not inside the CPU. Also, a long time ago, the RAM was actually not directly connected to the CPU. There was a little chip in between them called the North Bridge, but these days the North Bridge is inside the CPU, so the CPU can now deal with the RAM on its own. The task of the computer's random access memory is the same as the task of the cache memory. It's for temporarily storing stuff. However, it is slower than the cache memory. It's actually much slower than cache memory, but it also has a much higher capacity. You can store more stuff in your computer's RAM. So, for example, if the cache memory would be like your pocket, the RAM memory would be like a table that is five meters away from you. Well, you have to walk to the table, it's slower, but you can store more crap on it than that you can store in your pocket. Still, it's only for temporarily storing things, so you're not going to put something in your RAM forever. Also, just like cache memory, RAM is volatile, which means that when the power is turned off, all the data that is in the RAM is lost. The next type of memory that we're going to talk about is storage. Storage is used to store data for a longer period of time. This is where you store your videos, music, pictures, whatever, and it's also where your operating system, so Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, is actually stored in. Storage memory is very slow, which makes it unsuitable for things like caching and temporary stuff, things that RAM and cache memory are doing, but it is very suitable for long-term storage, since storage memory has a very high capacity. You can store a lot of data on a hard drive. See it like this. If the cache memory is your pocket and the RAM memory is the table five meters away, the storage is a closet in a different room. It's much slower than the RAM and the cache because it's much further away. You have to walk all the way to it, but you can also store far more stuff in there than you, that you can store on your table or in your pocket. Then storage can also be divided into two categories. There is magnetic storage and there is flash storage. Magnetic storage means that the data is actually stored on a hard drive. If you want to know about hard drives and how they work, then go watch the video that I made last week. Um, flash storage means that the data gets stored on a chip, like with a USB thumb drive, or an SD card, or an SSD these days, that kind of stuff. That's flash storage, so then the data is actually stored on a chip. Do note that a flash storage chip, for example an SD card, is different than the chip on a RAM memory module or the chip that you'll find in CPU cache, since RAM and cache are 
volatile. They lose the data when the power is turned off. A flash memory chip, such as an SD card, doesn't lose its data when the power is turned off. Then there is one last type of memory that you won't encounter that much, which is ROM, or read-only memory. Now, ROM is uh, the memory that is used to store firmware, such as the BIOS of your computer, but also your video card and your hard drive and some other components have their own ROM chips. Now, a ROM chip usually has a low capacity, and again, it's read-only. So that means you can't write data to it, you can't delete data off it, you can only read data off it. Also, ROM obviously is non-volatile, so when the power is turned off, the data stays on there. So these are the main different types of memory that you'll find inside a computer system. I hope this video made computer memory a little bit less confusing and complicated. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.